Hello and welcome to this tutorial. Oftentimes you'll be presented with an IP address and a subnet mask and you'll need to be able to figure out what the broadcast address is. So we're going to look at a few different methods that we can use in order to determine what the broadcast address is. As a refresher, the broadcast address is the largest IP in a subnet or a network. And the broadcast address cannot be assigned to any one device. In fact, it's used to send messages to the entire subnet. Okay, so if you need to send a broadcast message, you send it to the broadcast address and it goes to everybody in the group. That's why you can't assign it to just one device. Alright, so with that said, let's get started and we'll look at an example. Here is a class A IP address and its default subnet mask. So here's the method. We write down the IP address and just below it we write down the subnet mask. And we're going to go about just comparing the two and keeping two rules in mind as we do that. The first rule states if the subnet mask has a value of 255 all you have to do is copy the, the value from the IP address of the same octet. So in other words, we start with octet 1, and we have 255, and we have 10. So because it's 255, the rule states all I have to do is copy the value from the same octet of the IP address. So here it's 10. I copy it, and I'm done with that octet. And then we move on to the second octet. Now the second octet has a 0 in it. And our second rule that we have to remember is... When there's a zero in the subnet mask, we ignore the value in the IP address octet and we just write down 255. So here we have a zero, so we go ahead and we ignore this and we just write down 255 and we're done with that octet. So let's move on to the next one and we can see we have a zero again, so we know we immediately ignore that value and we write down 255 and move on and it's the same thing for the last octet because we have a zero again 255 so we've determined our broadcast address for this class A network we have 10.255.255.255 that wasn't so hard right well we need to practice so let's take a look at another example so we'll start off doing the same thing we write down our IP address and then just below it, the subnet mask. And then let's start comparing. We start with the first octet. We have 255 and 172. So according to the rule, we have 255. We have to copy the value of the IP address octet, 172. And we move on. 255 again. That corresponds to the second octet. Well, we're just going to copy that down and move on. The third octet, 255, we look at the third octet in the IP address, it's 20. Copy it down and move on. And now, the fourth octet has a zero. And that means we ignore the value in the IP address, and we just write down 255. So here, our broadcast address is 172.16.20.255. Okay, so these two examples were relatively easy because the subnet masks were either composed of 255s or zeros. Well, let's move on to a few more examples that are a bit more difficult. Here we have 192.168.2.33. So that's our IP address, and we'll go ahead and write down the subnet mask right below it. And you can probably tell already that this subnet mask is different because it doesn't have any zeros in it. Well, until we get to that last octet, let's go ahead and do what we already know how to do. So the first rule we looked at, when there's 255, we just copy down the value. So let's start off doing that because that still holds true. So that's the first octet. The second octet, we just copy the value again. We have 255 again for the third octet, so we copy that down. And now our fourth octet, what do we do there? Well, this, this octet's a little bit funny because it doesn't equal 255 and it does, e does not equal zero. So in order to figure out the answer, we're going to have to take a few additional steps here. And here's how it goes. There's a formula, as you probably guessed by now, and it works like this. 256, we write that number down, and we're going to subtract from that whatever the subnet value is for that funny octet. 
So here it's 248. That will give us 8. So the funny octet, we subtract it from 256, and it gives us this number. Now this is called our multiplier, or our funny multiplier, because it comes from the funny looking octet. This multiplier is going to help us determine our answer. Here's how we use it. We need to determine how many multiples of this number do we need to come up with in order to get just greater than this number, 33, but as close to it as possible. So here's, here's what I mean by that. If we start off with just 8, well that's too low. We haven't, we haven't gone higher than 33. So we double that because our multiplier is 8. So we add 8 again and we get 16. We're still not greater than 33. So we add 8 again and we get 24. We're still not there. Add it again, we get 32. Oh, we're so close, not quite there. Add 8 again, and now we've done it. So we've exceeded 33, and we're as close to it as possible by using multiples of 8. Once we've done that, the formula states you subtract 1, and that gives you your answer, 39. So our broadcast address is 192. 168.2.39. Let's take a look at another example to uh, reinforce the formulas here. Well, let's start off like we have for each of the examples. We write down our IP address and just below it the subnet mask. And now this example could even be a little bit harder than what we just looked at because not only does it have two five fives in the subnet, but it also has zeros and it has a funny looking octet of two four zero. So let's go ahead and, and run through this one to see how we use our formulas in order to figure out the answer. Well, if we look at the first octet, we know what to do there by now, 172. Second octet, so far so good, same thing as well. Now we get to the funny octet, and it's the third octet. So for now, we're going to skip it. Okay, Just put a, a line there, because we're going to come back and figure that out. In the last octet, we have 0. So we're going to go ahead and write down 255, because we know what the rule is for 0. We ignore the value in the IP address octet. So once again, we're going to go ahead and look at our formula. 256 minus 240 gives us 16. That's our funny multiplier. And so now let's go to work and see how many times we need to add 16 to itself in order to get greater than this number but as close to it as possible. So 16 by itself is not high enough. 16 is not greater than 20. If we add 16 to itself, we get 32. And that is the number we want to start working with because it's greater than 20 and it's as close as 20 as we can get by using multiples of 16. So in other words, if we were to add 16 to this again, we would get 48. And 48 is not as close to 20 as 32. So as soon as you surpass 20 with 32, you stop. That's as close as you can get to it. Then all we have to do is subtract 1, and we get our answer, 31. And we write that in, the funny looking octet. And so our broadcast address here is 172.16.31.255. Okay, so the easy examples are just that. If there's a 255 or a 0, you know what to do. Copy or write down the number 255. If you have something that's funny looking, then you need to use the formula. And that is 256 minus the value of that funny octet. That gives you your multiplier. You use that multiplier to see how close you can get to the funny octet in the IP address. Here is the third octet. You need to go a little bit higher than it, but as close as possible. So it's almost like um, staying on a train until you miss your stop, but you just want to get off at the very next stop, as close to your stop as you can get. Well, in our example, that would have been 32, and then we just subtract 1 from it, and that gives us our answer. 
All right, so to summarize what we covered, there are two rules we need to follow in order to figure out the broadcast IP address. If there's a 255 at a subnet mask, we write down the corresponding IP address octet value. And if there's a zero, all we do is write down 255. And that works in a majority of the cases we looked at, or whenever you have a classful network or any subnetting that only involves um, 255s and zeros in the subnet mask. In other words, the easy stuff. The more difficult ones introduce the concept of the funny octet, where the subnet mask has an octet whose value doesn't equal 255 or 0. In that case, we know we have to use the formula. 256 minus the funny octet value, that gives us our funny multiplier. And we use that multiplier to find the number that's greater than the IP address funny octet, but as close to it as possible. And once we've done that, we stop doing our math, and we just subtract 1, and then we're done. We've found the value. Okay, so that's it. Those are the methods you can use to help determine the broadcast address when you're given an IP address or a subnet mask. Thanks for watching.